Hey everyone, Miff here, and welcome back to my completionist playthrough of the Baldur's Gate saga with SCS. So we're continuing in the Asylum Maze beneath Spellhold, and we're about to cast our first project image. But yes. before we do so, let's create ourselves another weapon, and I am going to go with another short sword, just to give Sanashira a better offhand weapon. And it's not a big deal, but I think it's going to be more beneficial right now, because another good idea would be to create ourselves another uh, mace. But uh, Jahira, as a druid, cannot use maces, and Anaman cannot dual wield at all right now. He has zero points in uh, two weapon style. And uh, the other two options, axes and long swords, no one is proficient in anyway. And I think after resting, we're going to make ourselves two more maces, just to give Sinashira and Kiranai an option to add some crashing damage, because we are going to need it later on, but not just yet. So I think for now it's better to give Sinashira better equipment. And uh, now we also have to unmemorize some spells on Edwin, because if we summon the project image right now, it would just be a projected image with some used up spells. But if we unmemorize those that we have used already and don't need them anymore anyway, uh, the image is going to have the correct spells, the ones we want, without any spells occupying these two bonus slots that Edwin's amulet provides, and that the image has no access to anyway. I think on level 2 I'm good with uh, losing one strength and one web. Here, uh, the, these two shields don't really matter, but let's unmemorize the magic missiles. Here we can unmemorize the enchanted weapon. And here I think I am going to unmemorize one chaos just to has, uh, have access to that spell immunity. And on level 6, it would be nice to have uh, one protection from magical energy for free from an image, but I think in the upcoming fight it's better uh, to leave myself the option of having some pierce magics available, because depending on how things go, we might need to use them. And maybe later on the second projected image we can get some protection from uh, magical energy, kind of for free. Alright, so now we can summon the project image. Also on MON we can buff up with stone skin. We also need to heal up, so let's switch the ring. And I think we're going to use the Nymph in the upcoming fight, so let's just summon her first, and she's going to have that AoE heal and that we can use. And now the image is going to stay with us for 14 rounds, so we need to make use of these rounds as much as possible. So already, immediately, we're going to buff Senashira with a, a Spirit Armor. And the other Spirit Armor we're going to buff Anaman with. Uh, Jahira has the armor, so she should be fine. And Anaman might already cast some protection from evil. We are about to um, face off against some uh, Yonti guys. And that's going to be a pretty big group of them with three mages in it. And uh, for, an for an additional handicap, <laughs> we are not going to haste ourselves here. Uh, although haste would help a lot in this encounter. But um, I want to do the whole other map as well without resting. And I don't want to fatigue myself already, and I think we're going to save up haste for another encounter later on. So here, without haste, uh, we're not going to be relying on our physical damage quite so much, but instead we're going to use some cool spells. Alright, now we're going to buff up Senashir with protection from fire, and you can use that AoE heal. Oh, it didn't do that much, so let's heal a little bit, uh, Imo and heal uh, her a little bit more. You know, I want to save up these chaotic commands for later, because in this fight they can be dispelled, but I think it's warranted to give one to uh, Anaman right now. He's going to be, I think, a little important in the upcoming fight. Alright, when it comes to image of Edwin, next up we're going to use the strength spell on Jahira. And next is going to be a stone skin. Also, we might get mirror images on our mages now. You, uh, you know, as an additional protection, I could cast, like, improved invisibility on MON, for example, but I'm not going to cast uh, that kind of spell on anyone uh, in this uh, encounter. Uh, just to not incentivize the Yonti mages to cast any divination spells, because our image here, we don't want it dispelled, and we only have one spell immunity available for that image. And I'm going to go with uh, immunity to abjuration, because I think it's uh, a uh, much greater chance that it's going to be hit by some remove magic uh, than by a divination spell, especially if we don't incentivize the mages to, to cast one, like True Sight. So I think we're going to go with that. 
Alright, so we have that, and now we're going to cast that spell immunity to abjuration on our mages. I think that's going to be it. We're ready, I think. Also an idea for this fight might be to try to lure the Yuanti, Yuanti guys like into this room and make this our battlefield, or perhaps try to make use of this choke point. But from my experience, it never really worked for me that well, especially if you throw some cloud spells like in this hallway. They're just going to wait it out on the other side, and we are going to have to rely on our spells uh, here. So I think we're just going to go in and position ourselves here and just throw some cloud spells into the other room, and uh, that basically is going to ensure that they have nowhere else to go, and they will have to kind of sit in our spells. All right, so here I think we're going to move a little closer with everybody, but we're going to lead on with Senashira. Because before we unleash our Symphony of Destruction upon these Yonti boys, <laughs> we need to first unleash a wave of Dispelling Magic. And uh, so, th there was a bit of lag, by the way, indicating indicating that the, the guys spawned. But we're going to first lead with Senashira, and then we're going to have Anuman and uh, Edwin behind. So let's just kind of wait for them to position accordingly, because here there can be a little traffic jam. But yeah, first we're going to unleash Senashira's spell sequencer with that triple remove magic. Yeah, there's going to be three Yonti mages. And I think they already used their... Uh, this one cast Mantle, and the other two cast a Spell Sequencer with the Fire Shield. So yeah, we're going to unleash our Spell Sequencer with Triple Remove Magic and see how effective it is. If it is effective, then great. But if it isn't, then we're going to follow up with uh, Edwin's Remove Magic and Anaman's Dispel Magic. So we'll see how that goes. Alright, it was totally effective. Great. So now we can already start out with a Firestorm into that room. Now that they have their fire shields uh, dispelled, they're not going to be immune to fire. And with Edwin, we're going to throw our first cloud kill in there. And also, I think we might take the chance of uh, trying to cast Insect Plague on one of the mages. And also, Imoen has this Chain Lightning. Yeah. So let's have Imoen and uh, Jahira go in. Also, this Aerial Servant could be useful. Here and I could add some damage to these guys. Yes. Right now that Senashira used her spell, I'm going to just attack this greater Yonti with some physical damage. Try to get rid of him. All right, Jahira. Okay, the mages are nicely bunched up together over there, so I think I'm going to cast the Insect Plague directly on one of them. And I think one of them still has that Sequencer with Fire Shields, but the two others I think should be affected nicely by Insect Plague if everything goes well. Alright, just do not misclick. And here I think... You know what, Imoen, wait for a little bit. We might also get this Dryad to cast a little Confusion spell. It's probably going to do a, something a little bit different. Okay, this one used his Sequencer now with the double Fire Shields, so they are going to protect him from Insect Plague. But the other two, um, we should be able to affect nicely. And also this might be... I think it's just going to be resistant against uh, fire, so that fire storm from Edwin, from um, Anaman, should be good. This uh, cloud kill of ours is underway. It also damages ourselves. We need to back up a little bit. Alright, Edwin, when you can, you're going to have to. Well, I wanted to cast uh, Remove Magic, but these guys might be affected by some of our stuff. I think another Cloud Kill is going to be in order. Jahira, why are you not casting? Were you interrupted? Okay, she did cast that Insect Plague, it's just underway, and I can't see it here. But that's great, that's great. Now you can just add some damage if you can to these melee guys. Alright, and I think we might cast that Chain Lightning onto this guy. Alright, the, the Insect Plague is now on one of them at, at least. Or at least should be. Oh my god, I am a noob. <laughs> they have minor, minor spell turning, so of course that spell was absorbed. Oh my god, what a mistake. 
Embarrassing. <laughs> okay, that was... Oh my god, that was so bad. Alright, Secret Word was cast on Seneshira. That's going to dispel her spell immunity to abjuration. That's not a big deal. Uh, what other AoE spells do we have at our disposal? We could cast some Chaos here. With Edwin. And with you. Yeah, we need to rely on some AoE spells. Right here. Useless. We need to save some of her spells for later, perhaps. And the other spells are not that useful. Alright, uh, Edwin was interrupted. You could hear that... Okay, actually it wasn't. He had that uh, voice line that his spell was interrupted, and he was pretty upset about that, but apparently he did manage to unleash that chaos. Unfortunately, these Yonti mages with their, like, 20% magic resistance sometimes can get lucky. So this one, which is the biggest threat, because he's protected, um, he was not affected by our chaos. I think we can trade some of our health, though, and uh, attack him. He doesn't seem to be uh, under the effects of any mantles or prote uh, protection from magical weapons, so I think we can just go in and uh, deal some damage to it to cut through its stone skins. And he unleashed a death spell, so that killed our aerial servant. One of the mages, the other mages died somewhere there. I think both of them died from our AoE spells. It's just this one. And you know what, this is going to be a lot of damage. I think we need to do a quick spell thrust on this guy. And then just maybe a quick breach. And just Kira and I keep throwing. And when keep shooting. And that's going to be it. Alright, and do you have a breach? You do. Okay, he renewed st stone skin, that's going to be perfect. If Edwin, or Edwin's image, manages to uh, cast that breach, this is going to be perfect. That's, I think, a remove magic incoming, so let's just move uh, Sinashira out of the way. Actually, that was breach on Sir Anaman, so that's great. It dispelled his chaotic commands, but we don't really care, I was about to say, and I paused here because I think that was a Sunfire uh, incoming to uh, deal some massive fire damage onto us, but yeah, cool. We did manage to to get through all this. I think I'm just going to drop this... Oh yeah, I completely forgot that uh, SCS actually gives you some equipment in this bag of holding. I didn't even check what it what it had inside. Completely forgot about that. Yeah, uh, a gift for after all. It would not do for the game to be too easy. Well, actually, you know what? I'm not now thinking whether we even want that. We could have a normal Warhammer uh, for Senashira whenever she doesn't need magical weapons, but I think, you know what, we're good without these these gifts. I think we're going to do everything uh, without the equipment in this bag of holding, but I wanted to check it because we put some... Oh yeah, we put those gems into it. And we still have this stone. Now let's just drop it on the ground here, actually, because I want to showcase a different uh, speech that this statue has. And if we already have the crystal, it, it's going to be slightly different. Because we need two things to get th through this passage, uh, through this statue. We need that crystal stone, and we also need a hand of the creator, I think that it's going to mention. Yeah, only Builder may pass. His hand alone shall open the way once Focus of Power is restored. So the Focus of Power is going to be restored with this crystal that we have. This this is empty, at altar, but here we, we have some good scrolls. Some good it? scrolls. Alright, anyway. Pretty cool that we got through this encounter, but there's plenty more for us to do. Yeah, some tasty level 7 spells here. All right now we can throw this in our bag of holding. Yes, Alright, and actually, let's not use this passage. Let's use the other one to move on to the other map. We have cleared out everything that this map had to offer. 
Now I think we're going to do the, the summons here. So, uh, Senshira still has her buffs, and that was uh, what I was counting on. We're going to leave our party in this passage. Well, actually, not yet. We can still use our guys here. Here, uh, whenever we turn a page of this summoning book, it's going to summon progressively tougher enemies. This is just a kobold captain. Can deal with him easily. Next one is a spider, I think. Oh, you ran out of your throwing knives. Yeah, sword spider. Alright, next one is a Umber Hulk, so we're going to now just have Senashira alone do this, the rest of it. Actually, let's keep Kirinai here to add a little bit of damage once the Umber Hulk uses his uh, confusion. And she still has her stone skin. Alright, confusion was used. She is, of course, protected by her chaotic commands. And now we just have to deal with this dude. Alright, cool. Next one is going to be a Mind Flayer. So we have still our Chaotic Commands, that's good, and we are going to use our Protection from Magical Weapons, and Sanashira is going to do this alone, of course, because she she alone is protected against his tricks. Hmm. Just close this door, yes. just to be sure. Right, and uh, reveal yourself, reveal your treachery. Right, now we are protected <laughs> against its uh, de brain-devouring powers. And we have four rounds to kill him, and hopefully we can do this uh, right now, just with one protection from magical weapons, without having to spend the other. And we'll see how this goes. He's near death. Alright, cool. And I think from him we actually can get a healing potion, and also a strength potion. Alright, cool. We have one healing potion. Alright, and the next opponent is going to be a Beholder. So for this Beholder, we need some additional pre-buffs. We are going to cast that Protection from Petrification to counter his um, Flesh to Stone Eye Stalk. I and I think I'm even going to use this uh, Spare Death Ward that we have, because um, normally, uh, normally Beholders have a Disintegration Eye Stalk, which in SCS is replaced by that uh, Telekinesis Eye Stalk that can uh, steal your Shield of Baldran and whatnot. But I think there are some exceptions, and I'd rather play it safe and not get instant killed. Alright, and I think this is going to be it. After some mirror images, we're going to cast a spell shield that's going to absorb one anti-magic ray. And then uh, we, we essentially have two rounds to kill this beholder. <laughs> because in the first round, his anti-magic ray is going to get absorbed by our spell shield. And that, that's precisely why I had this uh, one spell shield. It's all because of this Beholder. We've been saving that spell for him, uh, precisely. And uh, yeah, the, the second round we get dispelled, but we still get that one round immunity to magic. And then the third one, the third round we die. So <laughs> let's see how this goes. All right, buddy. All right, so spell shield, of course, absorbed his uh, initial uh, initial uh, anti-magic ray. This fear actually could have worked because I think I forgot to pre-buff with remove fear. Yeah, and now we are slowed, which is not great. I am going to pre prepare Kirnai to perhaps aid Senashira. Okay, now this is the second anti-magic ray, and I think we should be fine. Come on, Senashira, you can do it. Let's have another dagger. Okay, whew, cool. Whew. Alright, so now all of the fights from <laughs> this summoning book are done, and we can get some rewards. And uh, here we get some really cool spells, um, scrolls of level 8. Summon Fiend, and Simulacrum, yes! And we also get um, the Ring of Reaction, which we are actually going to make use of. We can also get the Ring of Regen. What is it? We're not going to haste for now, so we might... Um, and also, in another fight, we're, we're actually... This is going to protect us nicely from being um, held. All right, so here we have a Wandering Horror, and we actually need that remove fear here. Right, it did its uh, panic cast. 
And we can have Jahira and Anaman aid Senashira with this. Alright. Now we have some containers to loot. With some spells, some ammo. In general, in, in this um, asylum maze, there's quite a bit of different ammo types. Too bad we don't have a sling. Because we're not going to... Uh, there is a sling, I think, in the bag of holding, but... Let's actually go go without using these uh, these goodies. Alright, so scrolls can go to Edwin. We have one spirit armor scroll. And we, we now have enough uh, scrolls of, like, simulacrum to maybe even cast it once from a scroll, but I don't think this is going to be necessary. Let's uh, heal up Senashira a little bit. Alright, and uh, now there are going to be some fights with the undead. And uh, how I want to do it is I want to do... Uh, I want to take both of these groups. One of them is going to be in this hallway, and the other one is going to be in a room. Um, a little bit further along. And uh, basically I want to use our Firestorm uh, to kind of deal with both of these, or at least weaken them, weaken them significantly. And we're for that we're going to need our second project image. And I think from this project image uh, we are going to unmemorize one Pierce magic. And I think that's going to be it. This uh, project image is going to be used mostly for buffs. So we don't really care all that much about how it's going to... how long it's going to stay up. But yeah, Senashira was completely dispelled, so let's uh, renew our uh, spirit armor buffs. On Senashira and on Anamen. We're also going to use that protection from fire on Senashira. So that she doesn't get destroyed by our own firestorm. And there's also going to be a Lich, <laughs> so uh, that's why this Protection from Magic Energy is going to be quite useful to have on Senashira. We're also going to summon a Fire Elemental on Jahira to aid us. Alright, what else can you do for us, Edwin? We could have a... Uh, Improved invisibility coming from this image. Well, we only got a normal fire elemental. There is a chance that we would could get a greater fire elemental. And here we could haste, but I think I might save that haste for a little bit later still. Alright, let's pre-buff this image also, because it might cast some spells for us in the thick of battle. And we're going to summon some Mordenkainen swords from it now. Oh yeah, also we need to renew chaotic commands on Sanshira. Oh yeah, and of course she is now Improved Invisible, so that's another mistake. Improved Invisibility should always be cast last, and I th I completely forgot about the Chaotic Commands. I, th I thought we were done with single target buffs on Senashira, coming from other people. Uh, she's going to need a Stone Skins. Let's actually get another, another sword. And I think she's going to get that spell immunity to abjuration already, in case that Lich has some tricks up his sleeve. Alright, and now we're going to take our summons, and we're going to take Senashira, we're going to take Anaman and the image of Edwin, and we shall go forth. And we're going to try... also, let's, let's keep Jahira nearby, and we're going to try to pull these guys. Uh, there should be some, some more of them. Alright, here are the mummies. Come with me, dude. <laughs> oh, just don't get stuck in there. Let's just pull them. And on this corner, I'm going to use the Firestorm from Anaman. And I think we can cast it already. And we're going to open the door. And uh, another bit of lag here. Oh, why did I select the image of Edwin as well? Alright, so here uh, the lag indicated that the group of undead spawned over there. Alright, so here we have some some greater mummies, some skeleton warriors that actually shoot projectiles, and a lich, that's uh, one of these like weaker liches. He does have immunity to abjuration, had some horrid wilting, yeah, he only has spell shield, improved invisibility, not too much, but we're going to kill him with some turn undead. But uh, we're, first we're going to pull all of these undead, so hopefully on this corner we can 
kind of deal with uh, both of these groups. Uh, let's let's pull them into that firestorm. All right, the, the lich actually cast cloud kill, so let's get Senesher out of there for now. And let's kind of allow our summons to to kind of stall the undead, maybe even deal some damage, but just keep him keep him there for our firestorm to do its work. Right, we need to get some visions for these summons. No. Alright, so I think this group uh, from the hallway has been dealt with completely. There was a hold person on our magic sword, which was not a good choice of spell. Alright, so the Lich uses some... used a minor sequencer with double magic... W wasn't there a mummy? Come on! Come on inside here, dude. And I think our firestorm just now uh, expired. But our summons can deal with this mummy. I don't want to uh, come into melee contact with it because it can disease. And we only have one uh, cure disease on our neutralize, po neutralize poison, which will cure that di mummy disease. And we only have one of those on Jahira. Well, the, the mummy is approaching anyway. Alright, the, the Lich is somewhere in there still. Actually, you know what, Anaman? Just get rid of that cloud kill. It's not working in our favor. Alright, and the mummy is is dealt with, and now we need Senashira to kind of enter first to soak up a a spell from that lich, or maybe a, our summons can do that. And we need to then we need to then uh, turn undead on that lich. Right, it <laughs> instantly died. <laughs> Alright, so thank you, Anaman. Alright, that went pretty well. We've managed to uh, to dispose of all of these undead. That could have been nasty. And we get some, some stuff from random loot out of them. Okay, a Mordenkainen sword scroll. I think that's it. Let's just be uh, completely sure that there's no mummies like lagging behind. Alright. We've dealt uh, with them all. Very good. And uh, there are two more fights on this level that we still need to do. First, let's let's get some goodies. And remove Fear Scroll here. Uh, finally, Jahira is going to have a good weapon, a good magical weapon, available to her, because this is a Cleric Staff plus three. Yeah, so now she has a plus three weapon that she's proficient in. Can you identify that? Okay, Protection from Fire. Might come in handy. Sorry, but I couldn't hold that last item. Let, let, let's just have um, Karen and I hold some of this stuff. We can have the stake in our bag of holding. We're going to organize that later. All right, we have an elixir of health, which is also useful. And we have some projectiles. We're just going to give the arrows to MON, I guess. Right, did I loot everything here? Yeah. And now in this library, we also have some goodies to loot. And then we're going to be able to progress. It's uh, actually nice that we still have that fire elemental. What is it now? This is going to be a fight for Sinashira, Anaman, and that Fire Elemental. What is it? This will not take long. Actually, Please let's keep together, be because we are going to get hasted. In a second, once we organize all this. Right now, Imoen has some really nice arrows at her disposal. Plus one, plus two, and these arrows of uh, fire, which are actually going to be way more important than uh, you might realize. Because uh, these arrows are going to be our only way of killing some spirit trolls later on. Because um, spirit trolls, of course, have that improved invisibility on themselves, so we cannot kill them with um, yes. uh, with single target spells. And uh, Jahira's flame blade is not going to be able to hit it, be uh, hit them, because it's not considered a magical weapon. So <laughs> we are going to be able to finish uh, off some trolls with uh, Jahira's flame blade, but not a spirit troll. 
But anyway. And I think we're going to fight some trolls before we rest and can have another fireball from MON, for example. Alright, so here we are going to use these protections from negative energy. Oh yeah, and also chaotic commands. And we still cannot chaotic commands Sanashira, right? Okay, we do. We can do that. So uh, I think her improved invisibility uh, expired during that fight. Okay, we might also get ourselves some remove fear. I think we... Okay, n no one was dispelled actually. But we have a nice amount of those, so we don't have to be too uh, careful with them. And now we're going to cast uh, the protection from negative energy on Anaman first, because we only have five rounds that this is going to be active, so we want to expire. We want that protection to expire on Anaman first. And then we're going to protect Sinashira with it. We are going to haste me? ourselves here. Alright, an Anaman might even cast Sanctuary. That's not going to do too much. He doesn't need that for the entrance. Alright, now we go. Actually... Oh my god, she still has that ring, of course, and now she's not hasted. Alright. We have to go in there anyway. We don't have time. So here we have Dace Sontan, a vampire. Stand and speak that I would hear you lies. That Bodhi sent you, didn't she? Are you to kill me, or as you as damned as I? So no matter what we say here, this is going to end up in a fight. But uh, this is the creator of this dungeon that Bodhi mentioned in her dialogue at the start of this whole place. That she mentioned that he, he is under her influence right now. So I guess she made him into a vampire that she can control. But anyway, he's not going to want to work together. <laughs> this is pretty funny. Damn it, man! <laughs> yeah, and he mentions the, the crystal that the kobolds worship. And that we will, would also need to um, to escape this place. But anyway, we are protected just for a few more rounds against his uh, tricks. And also, what I should have done is get this uh, phantom blade. That's exactly why I wanted this spell active. Okay, he summoned these giant rats like all the way over there. So we don't have to concern ourselves with, though, with them. Alright, now we have this phantom blade, which is actually a really... A kind of effective weapon against uh, undead because it does 10 additional damage against them. So I just kind of wanted to, you know, th there's a nice chance to to showcase it uh, in, in this fight. And we actually need the damage uh, because we only have a couple of uh, rounds to, to defeat him and he has, you know, some HP, he is a vampire, he can use some tricks. Come on, Sanjir, stop missing. Alright, he shapeshifted into bat. The thing I hate the most when we have some of these rats. And actually, they have diseased Edwin, so we need to cure him. Right, let's just focus on this bat. These giant rats, we need to do something about them as well. What can we do here? Let's throw in a Glitter Dust. Because I want our attention to be focused on Dace, so that he dies before uh, he can drain levels from us, and Anuman already is not protected against ne negative energy. So we really want to, to get rid of these guys. I have to get rid of him first. So I don't want to switch targets on my uh, Anuman and uh, Senashira to, to deal with the rats. Right now, no, sh they shouldn't be this that big of a deal. Right, he d he dead, he dead, <laughs> he died. Okay, that's great. Whew. I was a little worried because I made a mistake with Sinashira. I forgot that she still had that ring, and uh, she didn't pre-buff with uh, with that Phantom Blade. I mean, th the pre-buffs before this encounter were kind of a disaster. <laughs> so I was kind of worried that uh, we would get um, drained, and we have no way of. Um, you know, re restoring our levels without resting. And I don't want to abuse rest here. Anyway, so he returned to this coffin, but if we uh, go to this library first, 
without uh, killing him with that wooden stake yet. This is actually cool that the, the, these doors close, but as we approach, they open up. There's a cool description. And Dace is here, his apparition. Yeah, he begs us or asks us to kill him, to free him from this horror. Your blood. <laughs> actually, another apparition of him spawned. They are going to both disappear once we use the stake. So, of course, we got that wooden stake from the kobolds. And now we can finish our deal here. Alright, now he is free from the curse of undeath. And we get his hand, the hand of Dace, the creator of this dungeon, and that's what we need to progress on that previous map. But before we go and do that, and before we end the episode, uh, we have one more fight to do. And I think we are going to rest soon, so I'm not going to spare these uh, chaotic commands too much anymore. And we're probably not going to use Cloud Kill. There, there's going to be like an Umber Hulk ambush. So I think we're just... okay, we have one more. Let's uh, use that on Jahira. Yes. This Jahira really is a slowpoke now. Alright, we might use some mirror images on her. Let's actually enter with our three protected guys. And uh, Kiranai is going to be hidden in the shadows, because she is going to lockpick some of these uh, gates that are going to close. Alright, here they, here they spawn. So we have three Umber Hulks here, three Umber Hulks in the other area, and we need to you know, wait for their, their confusion, and we actually can um, open the doors. Come on, open up. Open these up, and we actually can throw in a Cloud Kill in there. Because without our gear, these Umber Hulks are a bit tough. Especially now that we're fatigued. Right, so let's start moving out. Oh my god, Jahira. Need to survive. Alright, they died. <laughs> Alright. So now we are truly done with this level. And um, yeah, if, if we just teleport ourselves, we don't have a zone of uh, free air and to just get rid of that cloud kill. I just want to showcase that this is the other entrance to this map. Oh, this is also locked now. And yeah, we can just uh, move on to the previous one. And now that statue face is actually going to open, seeing how we have the hand of the creator and uh, that crystal. What is it? If it must be done. Yeah, focus of power may be restored, and the hand of the builder opens the passage. The way is open. So now we get quite a bit of experience here. Sanashira, by the way, leveled up, which is yes. really cool, because she's going to be level 15, gets more level 4 and level 5 spell slots. All right, we're... everything is going pretty good, despite some mistakes on my part. But anyway, this is going to have to be the end of this episode. And uh, I, I thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one.